Hello, it's Ashley and welcome back. This week we are going to be showcasing our stamp designers. So these are the people that actually design, draw out, sketch out all of the stamps that Trinity Stamps sells. This week we are going to be featuring Danny from Love Danny Studio. She makes these amazing stamps with wonderful sentiments on them and they're very fun and playful and so I have a whole bunch of those stamps and I am going to be stamping a whole bunch of cards using those. For the background of all these cards I'm going to be using Ken Oliver Color Burst. Now this is almost like a powdered pigment watercolor and here's some examples of the looks you can get with these. So I've laid down some um, Bristol smooth paper. I wanted it to be a smooth finish so I could easily stamp over the top of it. I um, taped it down to a board so it wouldn't um, start warping when water got into it. And so I started just squeezing out a little bit of the powder and then I'm just spraying it down. I like to do this in layers. So I'll do one layer, um, get it all sprayed down where I want it to be, and then I'll take my heat tool and dry it, and then I'll come in and do a second layer of it, kind of using those same colors over the top. So what I'm doing here, sometimes you'll see that powder clump up, and I think it's an awesome look, but if you don't want that, you can then take a paintbrush and kind of poke at that, um, the little chunks, and break them up and get more pigment released. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more layer of powder pigment after I'm done drying this layer. Now you could easily use watercolor paper for this and if you're not wanting a smooth finish to stamp on top of, I would probably suggest that. That would probably be the ideal choice and it gives a really cool look. A lot of those um, samples that I showed you at the beginning of this video were done on watercolor paper. So for this next background, I wanted it to be really bright so I'm using and warm. So I'm using um, some bright pinks and oranges and yellows in there um, and a little bit of purple just to give it a really bright, cheery color. So I laid down my powder and you just kind of give it some little taps. You don't really want to squeeze it or a lot will come out. And it's interesting, you'll see some little bits of blue there, and those pigments are actually like within some other colors. So sometimes I'll see a little bit of green come through with the yellow, and a little bit of blue come through with the purple. I think that's just how they made it in their formulation, and I love it. So now I'm going in with my heat tool and drying it off um, after I put down my powder. And then I'm going to come through with a second layer of pigment powder and dry that again. So after everything was dry, I just went in with my spray tool like we would do when we're working with like Distress or Distress Oxide and give it some spray after. I did that on top and it gives it such a cool look, a really model type look. And I really liked that. So for this next card, I stamped down my image and put some white embossing powder on top and then I'm doing all of my um, powder and everything on top of that. Doing this creates a resist so none of the pigment powders will stick to the embossed areas. It turns out really cool in the end. So I'm just getting it really wet, blotting it down, and then you'll see it really takes a lot of that color out. Then I'm going in again and um, doing a couple more layers just to get that pigment really deep. If I had the time and I wanted to, I could easily just let this sit and dry on its own, but I did not have patience for that. <laughs> so I gently went in with my heat tool. You don't want to reactivate that embossing powder. Um, so I kind of stayed farther away with my heat tool for this one to help it dry. And that's why I use my paper towel a little bit more with this one versus the other ones. All right, so after a couple more layers, here is what this one uh, looks like. I love how it turned out. So then what I did with all these was turn them into cards. I used our slimline frame and fold die set to um, make all these cards so it's super simple to get made. And then I added embellishments to all of them too. 
You can find all of these stamp sets along with the Slimline Frame and Fold die set and all the embellishments at Trinity Stamps. And I have a link below for that um, along with um, a product list so you can see everything that was used here. So I'm going to turn on some music while you enjoy looking at all these cards that were made using stamps from Danny Love Studio. Well, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to Trinity Stamps YouTube page along with our Facebook group, Imagination, Inspiration, and Conversation. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.